Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a comparison between these three K Cafe coffee makers. So these are all made by Keurig. On the left, I got the K Cafe Essentials. Now I bought this at Walmart. It may be available at other places. It's $99 and I think it's only gonna be available at Walmart, but I'm not quite sure. In the middle is the brand new, just released Keurig K Cafe Smart. Now this retails for $250. On the right, I've got the nickel edition, but it also comes in black. That's the original K Cafe. You can still purchase it. The silver one or the nickel one that I have here is getting a little harder to purchase, but the black version is $165. Okay, so the first major difference is the milk frother. On this one, the milk frother, you take it out, there's no electricity going to it. So you can put this whole thing in the dishwasher. It spins it with magnetism and it heats it up with kind of induction around here. This one, the Smart, now you cannot get this bottom, so don't get this bottom wet. There's the milk frother. It does a good job froth the milk. It's just cleanup is a little different. And same with over here. Here we got the Essentials again. You cannot get the uh, bottom. You can't get electricity in there. You can't get electricity here. There's the milk frother. Now the K-Cafe Essentials, it's just got one mode. You press it, it froths the milk, and stops automatically. The Smart, K Cafe Smart, it's got, it'll froth it cold. It'll also froth it three different levels of heating it and giving you that foam. The higher the number, the more foam you're gonna get. Now over here on the K Cafe, you've got cold froth. You can do a latte, which heats it up, or a cappuccino, which also heats it up. So this is just the neatest, neatest little frother, how it works. This thing just sits on there. It spins it with magnetism. This, you have to cut that whisk. You're gonna pull that whisk off and it's kind of turns. There's like a knot you're gonna line up there. And then same with over here on the essentials, you're gonna just, it's got almost the exact same whisk. Okay, so I know somebody's gonna ask. So here's the smart, uh, it looks like it fits and gets power from, you can put it on the uh, essentials and same with over here. So looks like it's gonna work. Yep. So you can swap the frothers, you can swap. They've got the same base, the same mount. But the smart one goes over here. The essentials goes there. So the frothers on these two, they hold the same amount. You know, the smart one's got this nice handle, different levels. This again, this one, it holds the same amount, but you just gotta hold it with this. Okay, so now the smart one, you can connect it to the Wi-Fi and it will do brew ID. It'll give you the recommended brew. It also has the five needles called the multi-brew technology where this K-Cafe Essentials only has the single needle and same with the original K-Cafe, just the single needle. They both, they all three have the single needle on the bottom. Okay, so let's talk control panel. K-Cafe Essentials, it's on the right-hand side. It's okay. Um, I do kind of prefer this up here on top, but you can see you can do a 12 ounce, 10 ounce, eight ounce. You can do a shot button. That'll brew two ounces of water through a coffee K-Cup to give you an espresso shot. Now it mimics the taste of an espresso shot. You got add water light and a descale light. Over here on the Smart, we've got lots of functionalities. We can do an iced coffee, six, eight, 10, 12. We got several different temperatures we can do. So I just put a K cup in. It's doing the brew ID. So it's gonna send, it's gonna take a picture of the K cup. It's gonna send it to the internet and tell you what the recommended brew. Now, if it doesn't recognize that K cup, then you just do it. You can just do a normal brew, it's fine. So there's the signature light that it lights, and you gotta pick how many ounces you still wanna do it. But I wanna show you the different temperatures. You got six different temperatures you can brew that K-cup at. And same with strengths, you got five different strengths. Intense, balanced, rich, robust, intense. Over here on the K-Cafe Essentials, you got a strong. So you can do a bold brew on one of these uh, coffees. Now let's get back to the espresso shot. So we have the shot button. So when I press this, the smart brewer will let me do a single shot or a double shot. That's, that's really nice. The other two do not do that. They only have a single shot and it's only two ounces through a coffee K-cup. So a double shot will be four ounces. So over here, when I hit the shot button, it'll, it'll send two ounces through a coffee K-cup to mimic an espresso shot. And same with over here. When I hit the shot button and press the K button, it'll run two ounces through a coffee K-cup. So the water reservoir, the original K-Cafe, it's okay. Um, I like it has a, that it has a handle. You know, this one, the smart one, it has a really big water reservoir, nice big handle, looks very stylish. 
Over here on the K Cafe Essentials, you know, it's it's an okay water reservoir. It's got a little handle, a little awkward sometimes, but it works okay. You can definitely tell it's smaller. And you can just see. So these have more of a square footprint. The K Cafe Smart is definitely bigger. The K Cafe Essentials definitely takes up a lot less room. And over here, the original K Cafe, it's more of a left-right design. Looks really nice too. Okay, so let's talk internal heating element. So this one has a tank. The K Cafe original has a tank inside that's going to heat the water. It's going to heat it first, and then it's going to brew the coffee. These two over here have kind of like an instant heating element. It's going to heat the water, and then it's going to send it through the K cup. They're very fast, very quiet coffee makers. Over here on this K Cafe, you will hear that, hear that water boiling once in a while. Okay, so let's make a cappuccino. I've got milk in all the milk frothers. Now they all hold the same amount of milk, but you can see they're quite a bit different. So again, over here on this K Cafe, you're simply gonna set it on there and I'll hit the cappuccino button here a second. This one here, you set it on. And then this one here, you set it on, the light comes on. So the Smart Brewer has like a mode button. You're gonna press this for the different modes. Again, that's cold, hot, 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 but more froth. So on a cappuccino, we want less. So let's go one. Okay, so let's hit cappuccino, start, and start. We'll start our stopwatch and see how they do. Yeah, so these two are the quietest. Miss Fiona's up from her nap and wanting in. Okay, there you go. Okay, so we're at the minute 15 mark. Now these are very quiet. They just shut off, the Smart and the Essentials. You can see they're both doing a really good job. I should be checking temperatures. Now the K-Cafe does beep at you. It quit. Okay, so let's do temperatures real quick. Yeah, 154. You know, the, there, that one's done 154, and the smart one, 162. And it doesn't have as much froth. So there's a lot of foam, not as much foam, and some foam. Okay, so let's pour it out. There's the foam. You want to pour these out as soon as they stop. That helps. Yeah, that definitely had the less amount of foam. And then we got this one here. We got a lot of foam. And you can spoon out that froth. So again, if you, if you do this really right after they're done, you don't have to do this, but this did make some really rich and creamy froth. Okay, so let's make our coffee shot. I've got a pot in this one. Let's go over here. You're gonna hit the shot button and brew. We're going to do a single shot, and i got to come over here and hit the shot button. So, interesting. I had to take the frother off the base in order for this one to start it. Even though this frother was done, it was saying it wasn't going to do it. So, you can see they're all taking about the same time. Original K Cafe, there's the Essentials, and here comes the Smart. So you can see the original K Cafe is about the same as the Essentials. Now, this one, the frothing was different. Remember, I did it on the one, so maybe if I had done it on the three, it might have done better. Okay, so I'm not happy with how the smart turned out. I'm gonna froth some on three, and we're gonna redo that shot. So there, again, there's the multi-brew technology, single needle, and over here, single needle also. So again, these two do not beep at you when they're done with frothing the milk. The K-Cafe original does. So when I put it on three, it's really making a lot of foam. Really rich and creamy now. Okay, so it just stops. Again, let's pour it out. Yeah, so it does do a good job. 
Then I'm brewing another single shot. I could have done a double shot, but I'm just doing a single shot. Yeah, it's also very quiet. Yeah, that looks a lot better now. So the smart one will brew a nice, um, you can get a lot of, of foam with it too. And that's why I love these coffee makers so much is you, you add a little bit of syrup or some um, white chocolate to it. Those taste absolutely delicious. Now let's talk about cleanup. Cleanup is going to be, you know, this is very simple to clean up. You take it over the sink. You don't have to worry about anything getting wet. These, you get used to cleaning them, but again, you just can't get the bottom wedge. You got to kind of clean it out in there. And same with this one here. They all three, you got to stay away. Don't get any water down in here. Same with this one. You can't get any water down in here. So I just cleaned all three frothers. Now, I, I, I found these not too bad using a, a brush. You know, I had to use the same brush on this one. So unless you plan on actually putting this one in the, the uh, dishwasher, um, they clean up about the same. They take about the same amount of effort. You know, you get used to not getting any water on the bottom with these. They're very simple. You just rinse it out really good. So back here to this one. This one will do coffees too. 6, 8, 10, 12. It will also do a strong brew for the coffee side. You've got this latte and cappuccino button. That's, that's when you want to do a shot. It's going to run two ounces through a K-cup to give you an espresso shot. It's going to mimic an espresso shot. Yeah, anytime you run two ounces through a K-cup, it's got two tablespoons in it. You do get a really, really strong coffee. And they just taste great with this milk. So if you want to brew coffee with the Smart, you're going to get a lot more options. A lot more strength selections, a lot more temperatures. You can brew over ice. And with the Smart coffee maker, you can connect it to your tablet. You can use your tablet to add different favorites. You can name your favorites. You know, it's got a screen up here. Makes it a little easier to navigate. You've got like a menu. Press these two buttons. On the Smart, we've got Wi-Fi, D-Scale mode. You know, a little easier to use and navigate. We can do a factory reset, exit. Again, I want to state nothing wrong with all three coffee makers. They all three can make very good drinks. But you do have to consider price. So $250, that's a pretty, pretty steep price. You know, this Walmart one is very capable. If you don't mind doing a little extra work, you know, the controls are on the side. Tank's a little bit smaller. You'll be adding it up. It's got the single needle. You know, the smart one definitely looks a lot nicer. You know, I love that water reservoir. And then you got this old trusty original K Cafe. Again, nothing wrong with it. Does a really good job. You know, I'm not, they're still making them right now. So I'm sure they're going to be around for a while. Um, again, it's price. It, this one, the original K Cafe, the, the price does fluctuate a lot. I, I have seen it's 150, 160. I've seen them as high as 220. Again, I'll put a link to these in the show description notes. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you click on the link, the products don't cost you anymore, but I do get a little bit, bit of money from the click. It'll help support my channel. Again, I buy my coffee makers with my own money. And people ask me what I do with the coffee makers. I do keep most of my coffee makers because of this. I want to do the comparisons. I want to drag them out. I want to do the repair videos. I'm going to open them up. I've opened them all up. I have to do the smart one yet. I've got to open it up yet and see how it looks on the inside. And then when they release a new one, I want to be able to grab it and show you what the differences are between a lot of them. I'm going to try to get into Amazon live streams. So look for me on Amazon live streams. I've got to have the products for the live stream. So if I do a live stream on Amazon, I can grab the product. We can go through it. I can show it to you. Now, again, this essentials, typically when they have that essentials name to them, it's a Walmart coffee maker. That's not to say you won't find it elsewhere, but I've just noticed that when they put that essentials on it, they've got other coffee makers that are essentials. Um, it just seems to be like made for Walmart. It's a little bit cheaper. You know, the price is very good, $100 for that coffee maker. It's a very good coffee maker. So I really appreciate everybody's support. And again, if you could, please like and subscribe.